Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some new content in NHL 21 worth looking at. We've got new Nations of Hockey cards, as well as we'll talk about the prime times from yesterday as the Lightning absolutely dismantled the Islanders. And we got a new NHL Moments card that we will take a look at. We'll also talk a little bit about my Franchise Mode series that's about to come out. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so first, we'll take a look at the prime times. At this point, guys, there's no real reason to go in in-depth and look for them. Honestly, I like the fact that they're giving out a ton of prime times every game. Um, just because if you're trying to build a team of these, it's quite easy. It's a lot easier than uh, it's been when you're trying to build like a theme team kind of thing. So the 98 stamp coast, there's a million of them. I don't know why they won't just give 99s. And the only thing I can come up with is that they're just avoiding the meme of it being 99 hut. Like that's the only reason behind it. So um, you will eventually get them, but not now. Kalorn, Sergachev, Yanni Gord, Luke Shen. David Savard and Patrick Maroon rounding out the primetimes for yesterday as the Lightning are on the verge of the Stanley Cup yet again, as that's been a pretty crazy series, no doubt. All right, so we'll take a look at the new Winter National cards that we received today. We got the 90 overall Philip Kurashev from Switzerland with Heart and Soul, Thief, and Speedster. I do like that they're starting to give the lower overall, the lower 90 overall cards some speed, some speed stats, so it makes them a little bit more useful. Obviously, getting up to 96 speed changes this card's value quite a bit because he is usable at this stage of the game. And if you have Barrage and the other team-based synergies, your laughing is his shot will get up into the high 90s as well. Spark will get him to 93 acceleration. And with Heart and Soul and Thief activated, you can use him at center. So all around, a pretty decent card. And again, if you are if you, if you don't have the, a ton of coins, you're still just trying to feel out Hockey Ultimate Team. These are the kind of cards to go and look for. They're not going to be super popular. And with synergies, you can make them quite useful. Then we've got the 91 Oli Julie. TV, 6'3", 182 with two to distribute Light the Lamp and Gladiator. Again, the combination of synergies on this card isn't bad. I mean, 6'3", he's got high body checking. Speed's at 93, which is a little low. Uh, acceleration can get up to 93 as well. It's not awful, but again, if you're trying to build like a Vancouver team or even just an all-Finland team, this would be a solid defenseman to put on the squad because he is big. He's not terribly slow at 93 speed. And if you, again, if you have Barrage, the slap shot will become quite potent there. So the 91 Oli Julievi. Following him, we've got the 92 Nicholas Jalmerson, six foot three, with Spark, Howitzer, and Shutdown body checking up to 99. He is six foot three. Speed can get to 93, so he's awfully close to the Olivi card. However, his acceleration is capped at 91. In all honesty, I, I think that that's a little slow at this stage. Um, again, not crippling, but you know, if you're just trying to have cards that can compete, this one probably won't be it. But he has got good size, and again, with Barrage which is an important synergy in my opinion, especially for defensemen, uh, can get decent slap shot. And then his hand stats, though, they're awfully low for this stage of the game, so he's going to feel very, very stiff. So anyone that controls the offense with a defenseman, this isn't it. Then we've got the 94, Dan Hamuse. Two balance, two to workhorse, one to speedster, making his skating stats a little bit better. 94 speed, 93 acceleration. And again, same kind of mediocre stats the rest of the way. It's not awful, but nothing super amazing to look out for. Um, I think that there are far better options. Even in the mid-90s, you can probably find lower 90 cards that are probably better than this one. So my opinion... Void the Dan Hamus. Then we've got the 95 Tomas Hurdle, one of my favorite players and current Shark. So 93 speed, that'll get up to 96, acceleration to 94, and then everything else is basically 99. This is a really, really good card, and I'm glad they finally gave him uh, a phenomenal skating one because he is one of my favorite players and someone that I will definitely have on the squad shortly. And then lastly, we've got the 97 Artemi Panarin with two to swarm, shutdown, and gladiator. And low key, this is kind of better than his team of the year card. And the reason being is he's got gladiator and shutdowns and has body checking is maxed. Think of this, I, I used the Team of the Year card, and I thought that he just got knocked off the puck so easily, and he really wasn't useful defensively. This card is almost exactly like Kale McCarr, so he will play a little bit harder on the puck um, than most guys that are 5'11", because of that maxed out body checking with these synergies activated. So this is low-key, a really nice Artemi Panarin card. And then lastly, we got today's Moments card, the 94 Mike Green. Man, it feels like forever ago. He had that 30-goal season. Just absolutely incredible from the back end. 
Uh, however, we get one with Howitzer, Wingman, and Barrage. This is a really nice card, a 90 overall, 94 overall defenseman. Again, um, just like uh, when I was talking about the damn hand Hughes card, that was kind of meh. The synergy combo of this one is phenomenal. 96 speed, 97 acceleration. Then he's got basically high 90 or 99 everything with team-based synergy. So if you can get your hands on this one, if you're a Capitals fan, this is an awesome card in the lower or the low to mid 90s that you can get with the 94 Mike Green. All right, guys, so that it takes care of it for the content. The one thing I do want to mention, guys, my G Fuel code is boosted to 30%. Uh, for the next few days. So use code NOSLEEVES if you are looking to get yourself some more G Fuel. My favorite flavors are Shiny Splash. Really, that's my favorite one. Hype Sauce is really good, as is Fazeberry. If you want to try it out, use code NOSLEEVES. Helps me out. Saves you 30% off your entire order. Also, guys, my Franchise Mode series is about to drop. I think I'm going to have it uploaded Monday, Wednesday, Friday for you guys. I'm recording a ton of episodes all at once. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And don't forget to check me out live on Twitch every single day. I go live at noon Eastern time, twitch.tv slash no sleeps 12. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one, guys.